Hey guys, it's Abigail. Welcome back to Adaptive Chair Yoga, hosted by Wasatch Adaptive Sports. Today I'm really excited to share another class with you. I trust that you've been enjoying these videos and able to find movement while you're at home, while you're in a chair, and throughout your life more. Today, we will focus a little bit more on core engagement, and I'll be using um, blocks today. If you don't have blocks, that's totally fine. A stack of books works great, and something you can squeeze between your legs and maybe hold between your hands, whether that's like a can of food or just whatever you happen to have around the house. So let's get started. So let's sit forward in your chair. Finding this sturdy, upright posture, toes pointed forward, feet and knees hip distance apart, resting your hands on your thighs, close down the eyes. Notice the sensations in your body today. Are there any areas of tension? Maybe places that are more relaxed and open? Sensing into how you feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. Now start to feel the breath in your body. Notice how your body responds to the breath. You might feel a sense of expansiveness as you inhale and a softening, a relaxing as you exhale. Allow the shoulders to get a little heavy. Relax the jaw and the face. Bring maybe a sense of ease with you to your practice today. Even though we're working the core, we want to be powerful but not forceful. Nice. Blink open the eyes. Imagine you have a pencil growing out of the crown of your head. We'll draw circles. So take little circles. Imagine like you're drawing them right on the ceiling. Not too big. We don't want to crank the neck back, but just find a soft loosening in the neck. Imagining that you're drawing circles. You're still sitting tall and shoulders relaxed. Sense into the base of your body. From your hips down to your feet. Let's try that in the opposite direction. Beautiful. Bring the head back to center. Big breath in. Exhale. Drop your chin to your chest. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your collarbone. Now pull your skin down towards the floor. Inhale, lift your chin towards the ceiling. Feeling a stretch in the front of the neck from the jaw all the way down to the collarbones. Pressing your sternum into your hands as you pull the skin towards the floor, stretching the fascia. One more breath. And gently release. Hands to hips. Inhale, extend your right leg forward, press through the heel. Exhale, release. Without leaning back, inhale, left leg reaches forward. Exhale, release. Now add the arm, right leg, left arm. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Good. Left leg, right arm. Inhale and Exhale. Let's change it again this time. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend your knee, your elbow, tap them in front of your body. Inhale, reach, extend, sit up tall. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, one more, squeeze everything in, reach, inhale, sitting up tall, reaching through the heel, reaching through the fingertips, one more breath, and exhale, release, left leg, right arm, try not to think about it, bend elbow and knee, exhale, tap, 
inhale will extend you. Exhale to contract. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap. Again, inhale. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, extend. Stay extended. Reach through the heel. Reach through the fingertips. One more full breath cycle. Inhale and exhale. Release. Rest your hands. Notice how you're feeling. Nice. Let's take the legs wide. We'll do a gentle twist. Hinge your body forward slightly. Knees as wide as they'll go. Toes and knees point outward in the same line. Drop your right shoulder to the center as you look past your left shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale the opposite way. And inhale back to center. Bring your legs back to neutral. Good. Hands to waist. Inhale. Lift your right knee and left elbow. Bring your arm out to the side. Make a cactus shape. Now open your right knee out to the side. Try to use those hip muscles. As you exhale, we'll tap knee and elbow in the front of the body. Flex that right foot. Inhale, squeeze your back. Exhale, tap in front. Inhale, open. Imagine like you're going to squeeze your knee and elbow to the back of your body. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. And release. Other side. Lifting that left knee. Right arm comes out to a cactus shape, 90 degree angle. Now squeeze your left knee behind you, opening out to the side. Use those hip muscles. Exhale, tap in front. Inhale, open. Activate your back. Exhale, contract. Inhale to open. Exhale, contract. Inhale, open. Exhale, contract one more, open, squeeze those back muscles, the hip muscles, contract, and exhale, release. You might notice more sensation in the mid-body, maybe even in the legs. Take a breath in, and exhale, breath out. Nice. We'll open the legs again, toes out. Heels in, knees in line with your toes. And this time we'll take a scooping action. So as you inhale, flow to one side, reach forward, exhale round and scoop back. Inhale, roll forward to the side. Exhale, scoop back. Good again. You might be taking a big movement or a small movement, whatever works for your body. And let's go in the opposite direction. Inhale to the side, the opposite side, forward and scoop back. Really pull the belly in. Inhale, arch forward. Exhale, round back. You can close your eyes if you like. Take one more circle here. And exhale, release. Nice. Bring those legs back to neutral. Let's grab our blocks. Again, you might choose to stack some books up or a bolster or a small stool. Whatever you have on hand, just work with what you've got. I'm going to take a block. Sit forward in your chair as much as you can. Get your sits bones right towards the edge. Be brave. Bring your feet, the balls of the feet, to the blocks. Heels will be off. Squeeze the block between the thighs. Now you can hold on to the bottom of your chair and gently start to lean back. Low ribs come towards your hips. Lengthen your spine. Relax your shoulders. This is a boat pose variation or navasana in yoga. Squeeze that block, engage that deep inner core line, 
And if this is feeling good, you might try releasing your arms straight forward. Engage your triceps. Feel the crown of your head extending up, your hips pressing down into the chair, your fingers reaching forward, your legs squeezing. So there's all these actions here, all these senses of direction. Use those moving out from the core. Keep breathing. One more inhale and exhale, release. Good. We'll set the block down for just a moment. Let's flow through some uh, good old cat cow. So keep the knees and feet about hip distance, maybe a little wider. Inhale, lift your chin, draw your heart forward. This is a back bend. Exhale, round, scoop everything back, pull your belly towards the back of the chair. Inhale, rock forward, open the heart, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, scoop back, round the tail, tuck the chin, stretch the back of the body. Good. Take a couple more at your pace. You could close your eyes, keeping the focus inward. You could make big movements, small movements. Find your rhythm. Good. One more. Scoop back. Exhale. Inhale. Draw your spine back to neutral. Okay, let's take another Navasana variation. Grab your block or your prop. Squeeze it between those thighs. Maybe you're reaching your hands forward or you're holding the bottom of the chair. Or you can even hold at your knees if you need a little extra support. Squeeze that block, find the length, find those directions in the body. Pressing the hips down, lengthening the spine up. Good, now come to your tippy toes. Inhale, lift that right foot so it's up in line with your knee. Squeeze the block, exhale, release. Inhale, lift that left foot, squeeze, exhale, release. Now if your foot doesn't come all the way up to the knee, that's okay, do your best. Release left side, inhale, exhale. One more each side. Inhale, lift that right foot, exhale, release. Inhale, lift that left foot, exhale, release, and let that go. Pause to take a breath. Inhale, noticing sensations in the body. Exhale, allow a softening to wash over you. Nice work, you guys. Let's do more into our oblique, obliques. So sit up nice and tall. You might scoot back in your chair a little bit more, just so you feel like you have a little bit more base under your hips and your thighs. Take an inhale, reach your arms up and over. Interlace your fingers, drop them behind your head. See how wide you can make your elbows. Nice. Inhale. Press down through your feet, your hips. Go tall. Exhale. Tap your right elbow to your right hip. Use your oblique muscles. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale. Right elbow to right hip. Inhale to center. Exhale. Squeeze to the right. Inhale. One more. And exhale, keep those low ribs in. Good, use your core, lift yourself back up. Big inhale, exhale, left elbow towards left hip. Inhale to center, steady yourself. Exhale, squeeze those left waist muscles. Inhale to lift. Exhale, contract. Inhale, you lift. Exhale, one more here, really squeeze, but keep that right hip anchored. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap your elbows in front. Inhale, unfurl and open. Exhale, squeeze the elbows in front. Inhale, and open. Exhale, round. Inhale, expand, and back to neutral. 
pause, take a breath, let your arms relax, shake your shoulders out. Good. We're going to use two blocks, and if you don't have blocks again, you don't have to use anything. You could literally imagine that you're holding the blocks, or you can choose to use another item that you have around the house. So for this movement, we'll have something to squeeze between the thighs and something to squeeze between the hands. So you're going to really press your palms together and hold this block out in front of you. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders, squeeze the block that's between the thighs, feel your power. Now keep your low ribs anchored, inhale, lift this block overhead without flaring the ribs. You might not go very high, it's okay. Squeeze that block, inhale, exhale, rotate to the right using your core, Inhale to center, exhale, rotate left. Good. It's a small movement. Inhale to center, squeeze those blocks. Exhale, rotate. Good. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. We're going one more each side. You got this. Inhale back to center. Keep squeezing your blocks, real or imaginary. Exhale. See how far you can rotate. Inhale to center. Exhale, left. Last time, make it a good one. Inhale to center and release. Woo. Pause. Hands rest on your thighs. Lift your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, soften. Inhale, shoulders lift. Exhale, shoulders release. One more, shoulders lift as you breathe in and completely let them go as you breathe out. Exhale. Nice. We're going to take another twist. We'll use one block if you have it. And I'm going to turn my chair to the side just so you get a good view of what we're doing. But you can keep your chair facing forward or however your setup is. You are going to turn your knees so that you're facing the side of the chair. The back of the chair will be on your right side. Squeeze your block or prop or imaginary item between the thighs. Activate that deep inner core line. Make sure those toes aren't pronating out, but bring them back in line. Spread them nice and wide. Good. Now, squeeze the block as you inhale, press your hips down, reach those arms up and over. It's a lot easier without a block, right? Exhale, rotate to the right, grab the back of the chair. Make sure you're not back bending, keep those low ribs anchored in. Now, inhale, grow tall, relax the shoulders. Exhale, you'll use the push-pull of the chair behind you to deepen your twist as you squeeze the block. Squeezing this block helps to keep your hips anchored. And if you can't reach the back of the chair, that's okay. Just twist as much as your body allows. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Now we'll swing the legs over to the opposite side. So you'll see the back of me, but we're doing the same thing. So facing the back. Squeeze the block between your thighs. Find your good, stable alignment. Inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, rotate to the left. Grab the back of the chair, soften the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate. Keep squeezing the block. Really stretching the muscles between the pelvis and the torso here. The obliques, the QLs, all these back and waist muscles. Now try to breathe equally into both lungs. And exhale, release. Ah, that should feel really good. Or at least it shouldn't hurt. I'm going to turn my setup back forward. and come to sit. Good, staying forward in your chair as much as you can. 
Take a big breath in and exhale, release. Good. This time we'll circle sweep the arms up, big circle. Left hand will grab the right wrist. Now your arms might be more forward, that's okay. Try not to back bend here. We're going to do a side stretch. Inhale, pull that right wrist up and over. Anchor your right hip and breathe into the right side, lungs and ribs. Feel more space between your ribs as you breathe there. Notice where you feel stretching sensation and notice what core muscles have to hold you up so you don't topple over. Good, inhale, rise up. Exhale, release, switch sides. Inhale, gentle pull, not forceful. And exhale, arch to the left, keeping hips and shoulders square, low ribs anchored so you're not back bending. Breathe into those left side lungs, expand space there. Take up more space in your lungs. Nice. Inhale, rise back up and exhale, release. Rest your hands, close down the eyes for a breath, noticing sensations in the body, maybe more of a sense of calmness in the mind, warmth perhaps, building heat, improving circulation even in a chair. Good. We're going to bring our blocks out in front now. You can stack your blocks as high as you like. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. Bring your feet to rest on your books or your blocks. Let the soles of the feet come together and the knees fall open. So let yourself be supported. You can rest your hands on your thighs. And pause for a moment, feel the sensation of breath in your body. Notice where you might feel stretching here. Do you feel stretching sensation in your inner thighs? Do you feel it in your hips? Maybe you don't feel anything at all, and that's okay too. Nice, blink open your eyes. Draw your knees together, plant the soles of the feet, rest your hands, shut down your eyes again. Now let everything get really heavy. Imagine as if you're switching off your muscles so they lose their natural everyday tensions. Your shoulders sink down a little heavier. And your hips sink into the chair. Your feet rest. Let the jaw soften, the teeth open, the tongue rest in your mouth, eyes soft, and cheeks hollow. Feel the breath. As you inhale, feel how your chest expands forward. As you exhale, feel it soften back towards the chair. Next inhale, feel how the sides of the ribs expand up and out. And exhale, feel them fall back towards your center. Again, inhale this time, feel your back push into the back of the chair. And release as you exhale. Now as you inhale, feel all four corners of your torso expanding like a big cylinder. And then exhale, contracting back down, keeping that circular shape. Notice how your belly moves with this expansive breath. Notice the soft and subtle shifting in the shoulders as you breathe. But most of all, bring as much awareness as possible to 
your thoracic cavity, your ribs, your chest, your upper back, your sides. Feel how they respond to the breath. Could begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Lean forward, maybe take a rounded motion, chin to chest. Then inhale, lift yourself upright, place your feet on the ground. And for a moment, just pause, just notice what this was like for you today. Notice the condition of your body, the quality of your mind and of your breath. Then gather your hands at your heart center and take a moment to acknowledge yourself for being here today, for moving your body, for taking care of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.